What's good? If you're new to my channel, my name is Shay, and if I'm not making you laugh, then I'm showing you how to put some mass on that ass. I'm just gonna quickly pop my glute transformation pictures on the screen. This was me two years ago, and this is me now. I've always had big boobs, but literally no bootay, okay? Like, my goals for the last couple of years has really been building that hourglass figure. Today, we've got a heavy leg day for you. This was my third week back to the gym, I believe, after lockdown. I'm gonna take you through exactly what I do, what I've changed in my routine, as well as some tips and tricks to grow the bote. I'm starting off here with some glute activation. This has been one of the most important things that changed my glute growth. Getting a resistance band has really helped me feel exercises in my glutes because I'm quad dominant. When I first started working out, I had no idea what I was doing. I would see a bunch of Instagram workouts, I would try them, but only my quads would burn. I'd rarely feel it in my glutes. After a couple of months of working out and not seeing progress, I got so frustrated. But if you don't have a resistance band, get one. They're pretty affordable. I got some at the dollar store and the ones I'm wearing right now were gifted to me from a company. I think it was like Peach Loop Bands, I think, or something like that. <laughs> For glute activation, I don't count these, I just do them until they burn. It's not meant to be an actual workout, it's just meant to wake up the glute muscles. Now that we have only an hour session to work out at the gym, I don't have a lot of time to activate them, so I just pick my favorite, which is hip abductions. I always start off my leg day with hip thrusts. These need a lot of energy, so I do them right at the beginning. I want to progress the most on these, so I need to do them first thing as I hit in the gym. I keep my band around my knees, that way I'm unconsciously pushing out my knees and they're not caving in. This is the moment, no turning back. One drop on your lips and the spell will take effect Under the moonlight, stay close to my side We're burning so bright oh, 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 oh. Feel the devotion, follow the signs With this emotion you will be alright I'm pulling you closer to me You're finding it harder to breathe Immediately after a set, I'll do some more hip abductions. Notice how I rotate my feet outwards. This is to make sure I'm targeting the glute muscle fully and getting a full range of motion. I'll do four sets of 10 and I'm working on increasing my weight every single week. So if week one, I start off at 135 pounds, which is the 245 plates with the bar. The next week I'll add hundred pounds. <laughs> Can you imagine that? No, I'm sorry. The next week I'll add 10 pounds. This is called progressive overload. Love with me. Right after hip thrust, I've started squatting. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you. I was that girl who only focused on hip thrust because it seemed to give me the most progress, but you cannot neglect squats. I've changed up my routine a bit to target the upper glutes more, make the top portion of my glutes a bit more rounded and poking out. To do this, I need to target the abductor muscles, which are the gluteus medius and minimus. Squats definitely target the upper glutes. I can definitely feel them sore right after I do some heavy squats. So because I neglected them for so long, I always had felt like pain in my knees and back and my upper glutes are severely lacking because I neglected squats for so long, okay? So what I'll do is just warm up with the bar, just to make sure my knees are okay and my form is good that day. Then I'll add some weight to it. Step on 
a place like first off you don't run nothing all talking your team bluffing my squad we all dream crushing we ain't rushing no discussion all i know is us made for this paid for this yeah slave for this getting down and i'ma get it right get on sight like And I'ma get it right, get on sight like I've been trying to emphasize the lower portion of the squat, which is where your glutes are recruited pretty much the in <laughs> through the movement. So I really sit back into the squat and sort of pause at the bottom. And then as I'm pushing up, I'm also squeezing my glutes. Every set, I'll add some weight. Never really know when you're gonna go. Why you gotta put her on the foot in front of the ghost? Bury them toes, carry them close. I was never one to care about my man toes. I was like froze, now I'm on floor. Give me that smoke, but I can't get high. We do the most, here to inspire. Doing what I'm supposed, but I can't get tired. Run for your life every night. See in the dark, blind by the light. I got the spark, I got the pipes. All of my arts coming to life. Had to face my fears while I chased my peers and I found my spot. About time that I found myself, I've been out here walking that walk. Like, first off, you don't run nothing. All talking, your team bluffing. My squad, we all dream crushing. We ain't rushing, no discussion. All I know is I was made for this. Paid for this, yeah, slave for this. Been down and I'ma get it right. Dead on sight, like. First off, you don't run nothing. All talking, your team bluffing. My squad, we all dream crushing. We ain't rushing, no discussion. All I know is I was made for this. Paid for this, yeah, slave for this. Been down and I'ma get it right. Dead on sight, like. And I'ma get it right, get on sight like In between sets, I'll do standing abductions. So Brett Contreras just recently did a video where he was speaking on upper glutes. He said the best exercise is hip abductions, but not where you're in a squat position or bending over like I used to do, but where you're standing up straight. So in between squats, <laughs> squats, in between squats, I'll do a couple of these abductions, making sure that my glutes are still activated. There's blood pumping to the muscle and this lessens my chance that my quads will take over. Lately it's just me against the world Round and round I'm caught up in this swirl Trying to dig and trying to burrow Pressure turn this stone into a pearl Lessons that I learned weren't always thorough Sugar-coated like a churl Now I'm really out here on my own Now my homies acting like I own Done extending out my arm Made a lot of money from my palms Been around and now they say I'm on I can finally say I'm up now I'm up now 20,000 on a bus down A bus down I'm on my way up going up now if I'm doing a set and I start to feel my form slacking or like if I'm feeling it a lot more in my back or knees, I'll just stop. Another move I saw a lot of progress from before lockdown was these dumbbell squats. I do some abduction work right before a set, make sure they're nice and fired up, and then I'll really sit back and pick up the weight. Mine's on, I can't turn it off. Late nights and I'm turning up. Hate life and I learn to love. Down and out now, way above. I always knew I had it. Now I'm living out my dreams. Treat that money like an addict. It's a habit. I'm a fiend. Feeling that rush. Rocket ready to launch. Hands up ready and gone. Been waiting too long. Trust on plenty that's wrong. Old me standing that's gone. Thank God I'm headstrong. I don't want to wake up with a doubt. Then I show him everything I'm about. I ain't never going out. I ain't never getting full of clout. Now I'm sitting well, I'm I can finally I'm say I'm crap. up now. I'm up now. 20,000 on a bus down. A bus down. I'm on my way up going up now. Touch 
As I'm lifting it up, I'll squeeze my glutes. You can really see me squeezing and going slow with this, really focusing on the motion. I'm really tall, so by the time the weight hits the ground, I don't exactly get the full range of motion. So if you're like me, you could elevate yourself, but as long as you're feeling it in your glutes, you're good. Always, 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 I'll use the hip abduction machine. I saw such great progress from this. I wanted more of a curvy figure from the front where you could see my hips. This machine has grew my hips, okay? I swear. They are more pronounced and I just loved it. First set to warm up, I'll pick a moderate weight where I can do 20 reps slow and controlled. Every set after that, I'll make sure to increase the weight where it's really challenging. Before lockdown, I was about two notches from maxing out the machine. I was so proud of myself, but now I'm focusing on high reps, but slow and controlled to really feel the muscle contraction and build that mind to muscle connection. So that's what a full leg day looks like for me during lockdown with our session. At first I hated it, but now I kind of see it as a challenge to kind of get in and get out. Get the exercises that I know I've seen the most progress from with done within the hour. And all the random exercises that I thought was working but really wasn't. Man, get those out that get those out my routine, okay? We don't need those. If you have any questions, you can always leave a comment down below or message me on Instagram. If you love this video, please make sure to like it and also leave me a comment. I love talking to you guys. And I'll also be doing some votes on the community tab to see what kind of workouts you guys want me to film. I'm also going to try to film as much content as I can before the gyms close again. So thank you so much for watching this video. Bye, guys. Down and I'm going to get it right. Dead on sight like. First off, you don't run nothing. All talk and your team bluff it. My squad, we all dream crush it. We ain't rush it. No discussion. All I know is I was made for this. Paid for this. Yeah, slain for this. Being down and I'm going to get it right. Dead on sight like. I'ma get it right, dead on sight like